it's marisha wallace here i currently play becky and waitress you may also know me as effie white from dream girls i've also worked on broadway in the original cast of aladdin something rotten and i also have done book of mormon Oh, it's got my name on it. I love this. I present it and then now I won. <laughs> the Rachel Wallace tour starts March 8th and it's going to March 23rd. It's going to be going all around the UK. I'm so excited. I'm going to be singing like songs from my favorite musicals as well as learning some original stuff, but it's really soul based, like a lot of soul music as well. And it's going to be incredible. I can do it with my full band. And I'm going to try to get singers from all over the UK to come sing with me um, on some of the songs. So it's going to be really exciting. I think the audiences are going to love it. So on the tour, I'm going to be singing some of my favorite songs, my favorite musicals. Of course, I'm going to do And I'm Telling You I'm Not Going, which has been the song that changed my life. Standing ovations at Savoy, at the Robert Hall, Palladium, and I'll get to do it for you in your hometown, which is going to be great. I also do a Whitney Houston tribute and Aretha Franklin tribute, and it's just an amazing myriad of songs and also other songs from musicals. I think I might sneak memory in there because that was a song that people wanted to hear me sing. Thank you, Jennifer Hudson. So, that, yeah, you're going to love it. I do feel like you'll just get the full Marisha Wallace experience because when you come see me in a show, I haven't written the show, I just come do the roles. But this one, I have curated the set list, the costumes, the musicians, everything. It's the full total experience. You'll get to dance, you get to sing, you'll get to be inspired. And I think people are going to love it. Well, it's really exciting because Michael and I did um, the Lytham Festival last summer and he was like, we did You Can't Stop the Beat at the festival. And he was like, oh my God, you should play Motormouth. You should talk to Jerry Mitchell. And I was like, no, you should talk to Jerry Mitchell because <laughs> he was already doing it. And um, then my, I got the audition and I auditioned and I got it and I'm so excited. It's been one of my dream roles for a long time. So I'm just knocking off the dream roles like one by one. <laughs> So it's going to be at the Coliseum, which is an amazing venue with so many, it's like just legendary venue to do it in that space is going to be incredible. Man, the lineup is insane. You got Leia Salonga, Ramin, Jonathan Jones, Ruthie Henschel, like it's going to be an exciting, to be even in that number is just exciting for me. <laughs> I love Leia Salonga. We also did the Lytham Festival with Michael Ball, so it was my first time getting to meet her. And she got to hear me sing, and I'm telling you, and she's on the side of the stage going like, Rah! I was like, oh my God, what is my life? <laughs> so I'm excited to be on the boat with her so then we can really party this time. We partied a little bit last time, but we're going to have fun this time. Yeah. released it um this past fall and it's called fight like a woman or slay whatever way you want to call it i premiered it um when i was on tour with todrick hall and people loved it they were singing along at the palladium three thousand people slay it was incredible but it's about empowering um not just women but empowering anyone because i think women are some of the strongest fighter warriors in the world and i was like everybody wants to fight like a woman even men want to fight like women <laughs> Even like all anyone wants to fight like a woman. So that's why I wrote a song and I feel like people just love it. And I have a new single coming out very, very soon called The Beginning. And you'll be hearing that maybe in the next month or two. Yeah. That is an amazing question. Um, I feel like that is my calling in life is to inspire people because I am a curvy girl. I didn't come from a rich family. I come from a poor family and I've kind of 
pulled myself up by the bootstraps and made something of myself. So I think that's the biggest thing I want my young fans to know is that no matter where you come from, no matter what you look like, no matter your situation, you can make your dreams come true if you work really hard and you believe in yourself. And I think I want my fans to really appreciate themselves for all the gifts that they have because you can only be yourself you only can be the best version of yourself no one can be like you and i think that is your superpower so yeah they should come and see my show because they can really see me for who i am like all all the things that i know how to do my not only my big voice but also my story i feel like you will be inspired by my story i feel like you're gonna hear some amazing music um it's very high energy as well and you'll just be inspired to do whatever you want to do in life and to go on an experience with me and this it's not just a concert it's an experience when people come to see my shows they always always leave saying well i've never experienced anything like that in my life the goosebumps going through my body and how you made me feel about myself you made me feel confident in making me want to go out into the world and be better and to believe in myself so it's not just a concert it's an experience and you'll have so much fun and it's just a great night out you're gonna love it So guys, it's Marisha Wallace, and I want you to come see my first UK headline tour. It's gonna to be so exciting. Get your tickets now. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the description box so you can get your tickets and I'll have all the dates and all the cities. And I can't wait to see you there. <laughs>